of uh, property and acquisition um, items that come before us. We would have somebody on staff, uh, not somebody on staff, we'd have somebody under contract that could immediately uh, get property appraised and begin negotiation. Another aspect of this is to take three different processes um, by a multiple of departments and, and make them one so that everything is consistent as it comes to you. You would get consistent closed session reports. Uh, you would get consistent information. Uh, everything would, would be the same from department to department. Um, where we think that is of advantage is somebody comes to us now and says, we'd like to sell you this piece of property, or if we need to buy a piece of property, we need to go out, hire an, uh, hire an appraiser, uh, then negotiate the deal and come back to you, and that just takes time. And specifically, the property owner would begin, the, you mentioned negotiations, would begin the negotiations solely with this firm, or is someone from Parks, Community Development, also going to be part of that uh, process? The Mr. way Strober, that, if you'd like right. to answer that. Well, I, I might point out, you've that. seen this work on housing projects where we've used the outside consultant. So the outside consultant, very versed in, in, in property acquisition, and the staff in that case work very close together. You saw it when we acquired the Dorn Street prop property, and there, you know, actually worked very successfully. This arose because of a purchase we had in GWP, you might recall, mm -hmm. where the staff, not quite as versed in uh, in these acquisition processes, had worked for a long period of time with the property owner, appeared after the fact to have kind of been strung along, and then there was a claim for uh, inverse mm -hmm. damages. Uh, and it was there we realized, well, you know, some departments are more versed, some departments are less versed. We just need to have a centralized process and resource that we can turn to. In development services, they're rather versed. Housing, they've come to be very versed in the acquisition. Other departments aren't nearly. So it might start with somebody contacting a department, but uh, the consultant we're recommending we retain uh, will we'll serve as a resource and we'll have a single means in which we've got one resource to turn to to assist the department in doing the land acquisition so you don't have a department that's not quite as versed, maybe getting us down a wrong path, taking a lot of time, and potentially getting us in a position where, where we could be liable for damages on, on but an acquisition. For those three, prop I mean, for those three uh, departments, I uh, mentioned Parks, Community Development, Development Services, that staff will be working with oh, this yes. consultant so that Definitely. there's going to be a coordinated uh, response to the property owner, whoever it is. It's good, good example. If Parks uh, is one of those that are less versed, uh, would come to development services and would be a point of contact uh, between the de department and the con uh, the consultant, as well as the the would be the city council in that case. Madeline's department is very well versed, and so they may say to us, "We're using uh, the consultant for it," and then they would talk directly to the consultant and be the go-between for you. Uh, we just wanted to make sure, as Mr. Starbed said, that we have staff who's well versed that can take advantage of. Uh, having a consultant right there. And that allows us to ramp up or down depending on the level of activity that we have. And, and, and very importantly is move move the process along. The difficulty we had in that one acquisition of GOVP was well, they thought they were working effectively with the property owner. I think over a year had passed before they really you know, knuckled down to get the, the direction from you all to proceed with the acquisition. Uh, this will make sure that uh, uh, again, for departments that aren't quite as versed, there's someone there reminding them you've got a process, you need to get engaged in it and continue it and move it along. We'd have a centralized way of ensuring that we do that in all cases. Madeline. Uh, just two other advantages I want to mention. One is particularly in the appraisal part. Uh, you know, we get a lot of calls, a lot of people wanting us to look at property, this and that, and oftentimes we have to go do a little uh, requisition, you know, get quotes for that. This way we'll have one entity that we can turn to. The other advantage that we see, I think all of us agree, is there will be some consistency in looking at land prices, which is a big issue that we talk about all the time, because this organization will be looking at property that we all are interested in and will be able to present a sort of a, an overview of what the land prices have been and are, are going for and what the city is paying each by, by different entities. Thank you. Uh, I'm looking for a motion, Mr. Isafia. No, actually I have one question. In, in, this is $150,000 for three years contract, so it's $50,000 per year. Uh, how would this money budget-wise be separated? It's going to be one-third, one-third, one-third. How do you allocate this? 
Yeah. Which yeah. which department does this come out of? First of all, I believe it's one hundred fifty thousand dollars for the entire three years. That's what I'm spread saying. amongst all three. So it's one fifty total for three years, right. not, not one hundred fifty per 50. year. No, no. Yeah. That's what I said. One hundred fifty thousand dollars for three years. So it's fifty thousand, uh, fifty thousand, fifty thousand yes. right. for Could all be. three agencies. So that fifty thousand for the first year budgetary. These three departments. How do you spread that? Do you this, cut it out equally, this or would, is it per project, or how do you do that? This would be the contract amount, and then each department would have to put money to that contract. And it would be on a pro let's say you had a project coming where you knew you had a lot of acquisitions, you would budget for that in your project. So it's on a project by project basis. So let, let's say we don't acquire any any land mm -hmm. the first year at all. He doesn't Nobody get anything. Does. No. If they come in and they do a lot of acquisitions, we might actually be back here saying let's increase the amount more than fifty thousand. And the projects that have, the departments that have those acquisitions are going to pay uh, for the, for their time. Okay, and 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 that will pay for also all the appraisal costs. Mm -hmm. Right. So the it'll appraisal all be, it'll costs all be part of here. each individual project as as they come to you. Mr. Quintero. Okay. If there's no other comments. I'll move one A for the city council. Second. Motion and a second. Let's have roll call for the council. Council Member Strayman? Yes. Quintero? Yes. Weaver? Aye. Sefian? For housing, I'd like to move 1B. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't vote. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. I wait. dozed. Sorry. Mr. Sefian? <laughs> I'll abstain. Oh. Okay. Mayor Mujarian? Yes. Okay, so motion on 1B. I'll move 1B for the redevelopment Second. agents. Oh. Okay. No, second. We're, we're seconded. Roll we'll we'll call, call for redevelopment. Um, no. Two is authority. B is authority. Yeah. So for the authority. No, for the authority. We have two is also. authority. Okay. For authority. Uh, authority member Quintero moved. Most right. Second. Yes. Right. Okay. Authority, authority members Draymond. Yes. Mincy. Mincy. Yes. Yes. You're voting yes. <laughs> it's not even midnight sure yet. Najarian? Yes. Parazian? Yes. Quintero? Yes. Yusefian? Abstain. Chairman Weaver? Aye. Okay. And I'll move uh, 1C for the agency. Second. There's a motion second. Roll call. Agency members Draymond? Yes. Najarian? Yes. Quintero? Yes. Weaver? Aye. Chairman Yusefian? Uh, abstain. Okay. Is there a motion to adjourn for the... Agency. So moved. Second. Okay, we're adjourned. Motion for the housing? So, so moved. moved. Second. Stand adjourned. For council? So oh. moved. Second. Council is adjourned. Okay. The next meeting. <laughs> in case there haven't been any permutations of the different agencies. <laughs> you, you, you're going to be able to we get have, this thing done by 5.15? We have... Uh, the, uh, I'd like to call to order the joint meeting of the Glendale City Council and the Glendale Housing Authority. May we have the roll call for council? One moment, just have to get started on the computer before we go. Council member is Draymond? Yeah, here. Quintero? Here. Weaver? Here. Yusefian? Here. Aaron and Sharon? Here. And roll call for the Housing Authority? Authority members. Draymond? Here. Vinci? Here. Najarian? Here. Krausian? Here. Quintero? Here. Yusefian? Here. Chairman Weaver? Your, uh, your report, please. <laughs>